Richmond International Airport IATA, RIC, ICAO, KRIC, FAA LID, RIC is a joint civil-military public airport in Sandston, Virginia, United States, an unincorporated community within Henrico County. The airport is about 7 miles 11 kilometers southeast of downtown Richmond, the capital of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Richmond International Airport is the busiest airport in central Virginia and the third busiest in the state behind Washington, D.C.'s two major airports, Washington Dulles and Washington National. RIC covers 2,500 acres 1, hectares of land. Topic overview The Capital Region Airport Commission crack owns and operates Richmond International Airport. Established in 1975 by the Virginia General Assembly, the commission is overseen by representatives of the counties of Chesterfield, Hanover, and Henrico, and the city of Richmond. RIC serves the Greater Richmond region with non-stop flights to 26 destinations, serviced by seven commercial air carriers. A joint civil-military public airport, RIC houses the former property of the Richmond International Airport Air National Guard Station, which was transferred to the Department of the Army in support of U.S. Army Reserves and Virginia Army National Guard activities. In 2017, the airport served 3,657,479 passengers, an all-time record for the airport and broke its previous record of 3,634,544 back in 2007. RIC is served by airlines flying primarily domestic routes to cities in the South, Northeast, and Midwest, and connecting flights to major hubs for international destinations. In 2016, RIC reported its 32nd consecutive month of growth, with an estimated 345,000 travelers reported in October 2016. Several airlines serving RIC have responded to growing demand and traffic with upgraded routes and aircraft. Delta Air Lines, JetBlue Airways and Southwest Airlines have added additional existing routes and larger aircraft in 2017. United Airlines upgaged its Denver service to a mainline aircraft, replacing the Embraer E-175 used with United Express. It is the longest and most westerly flight originating from Richmond, surpassing American Airlines Dallas-Fort Worth service. In the early 2000s Richmond saw another period of extensive growth, and in 2005 it announced a complete redesign of the airport. RIC went from a single-story terminal with 12 gates to 22 gates plus numerous non-jet bridge gates, added parking spaces to 10,500, and created a new terminal roadway and air traffic control tower. The project features major renovations of the terminal building, including upper level departures and lower level arrivals, the construction of a central utility plant, and the widening of security checkpoints. Construction on the renovated two level terminal was completed in spring 2007, and was designed by Gresham, Smith and Partners. Due to recent growth Richmond has reopened its international gate B15 for flights to Cancun, Toronto, Punta Cana, all of which are seasonal services. In 2016 Richmond recorded its second highest yearly passenger volume. In response, RIC plans a major expansion, starting in the fall of 2018. The number of gates will increase from 22 to 28 or 30 by adding 6 or 8 gates net to its A concourse. Construction will begin in late summer, early fall 2018 and last for 15 months. The airport is also planning an expansion of the checkpoint area in Concourse B, which currently has four TSA screening lanes. That project will increase the amount of lanes available to at least six. That expansion is estimated to cost $4 million and will be underway in the late summer or fall of 2018, with construction set to last for about eight months. Concourse A has three screening lanes in its checkpoint area, though that is likely to be expanded in the next few years. More construction at the airport is coming. The Capital Region Airport Commission is looking into moving the rental car counters from the central portion of the lower lobby level to an expanded north baggage claim area. The airport also expects to add an enclosed two level connecting walkway between the terminal and the rental car garage. The rental car garage is also set to expand. In 2017, the airport handled 3,657,479 passengers, an all time record. In 2016, Richmond International Airport handled over 63,000 tons of cargo, an all-time high. 
Cargo services offered at the airport include more than 100,000 square feet (10,000 square meters) of warehouse office space and 1 million square feet (100,000 square meters) of apron space. The airport is designated a foreign trade zone. Because of its position on the eastern seaboard, cargo transit via RIC is on the rise. Goods shipped out of the metropolitan Richmond area can reach 72% of the U.S. population within 24 hours. History The airport was dedicated as Richard Evelyn Byrd Flying Field in 1927 in honor of aviator Richard E. Byrd, brother of then-Governor Harry F. Byrd. Charles Lindbergh attended the dedication ceremony. Although the facility was in Henrico County, Richmond Mayor John Fulmer Bright was instrumental in the creation of Byrd Field, which was initially owned by the city of Richmond. It was renamed Richard E. Byrd Airport in 1950, and became Richmond International Airport in 1984. The airport's manager from 1957 to 1988 was Anthony E. Dowd Sr., a terminal building designed by Marcellus Wright and Son was completed in 1950. It was expanded from 1968 to 1970, which included the current passenger concourses. The April 1957 Official Airline Guide (OAG) lists 43 weekday departures, 22 flights on Eastern Airlines, 10 flights on Piedmont Airlines (1948 to 1989), 5 flights on American Airlines, 4 flights on National Airlines, and 2 flights on Capital Airlines. During the mid-1970s, United Airlines was operating daily round-trip one-stop service between Richmond and Los Angeles LAX with a stretched Douglas DC-861 jetliner via a stop in both directions at Washington DC Dulles International Airport. The Super DC-861 was one of the largest aircraft types ever to serve the airport in scheduled passenger operations. United was also operating Boeing 727-200 and Boeing 737-200 jets into the airport at this time with their service including non-stop flights from Washington, D.C. National Airport in addition to Dulles Airport. Other airlines serving Richmond in 1975 included Eastern Airlines operating Boeing 727-100, Boeing 727-200 and McDonnell Douglas DC-930 jetliners with non-stop flights from Atlanta, New York JFK Airport, New York LaGuardia Airport and Raleigh, Durham, and Piedmont Airlines 1948-1989 operating Boeing 737-200 jets and NAMCYS-11 turboprops with non-stop flights from Charleston, West Virginia, Chicago O'Hare Airport, Huntington, West Virginia, Lynchburg, WV, Newport News, Norfolk, Raleigh, Durham, Roanoke, Virginia, Rocky Mount, Wilson, NC, and Washington, D.C. National Airport. Altair Airlines, a commuter air carrier, was serving Richmond at this time as well operating Beechcraft 99 turboprops on non-stop flights from Baltimore, Philadelphia and Wilmington, Delaware. The February 15, 1985 OAG listed five airlines serving Richmond with jet aircraft including Delta Airlines, Eastern, Piedmont, United and U.S. Air. According to this edition of the OAG, Delta was operating Boeing 737-200 and McDonnell Douglas DC-930 jets on non-stop flights from Atlanta, Eastern was operating Boeing 727-100, McDonnell Douglas DC-930 and DC-950 jets with non-stop service from Atlanta, Charlotte, Greensboro, High Point, New York JFK Airport and New York LaGuardia Airport, Piedmont was operating Boeing 727-200, Boeing 737-200 and Fokker F-28 Fellowship jets with non-stops from Baltimore, Charlotte, Chicago O'Hare Airport. Airport, Greensboro, High Point, Kinston, NC, Louisville, New York LaGuardia Airport, Norfolk and Philadelphia, United was operating Boeing 727-100 and Boeing 727-200 nonstops from Baltimore, Chicago O'Hare Airport and Norfolk, and U.S. Air was operating British Aircraft Corporation BAC-111 and McDonnell Douglas DC-930 jets on nonstop flights from Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. 
The OAG also lists service into Richmond at this time in 1985 operated by four commuter and regional airlines including Air Virginia which was operating a hub at the airport flying Swearingen Metroliner turboprops non-stop from Baltimore, Charlottesville, VA, Lynchburg, VA, New Bern, NC, Newport News, New York LaGuardia Airport, New York Newark Airport, Norfolk, Philadelphia, Raleigh, Durham, Roanoke, Virginia and Washington, D.C. National Airport, Delta Connection operated by Comair with non-stop Saab 340 and Swearingen Metroliner turboprop flights operated on a code-sharing basis for Delta from Roanoke, Virginia, Piedmont Regional Airlines operating Beechcraft 99, De Havilland Canada DHC 7-7 and short 330 turboprops with non-stop service flown on a code-sharing basis for Piedmont from Baltimore, Newport News, Norfolk and Roanoke, Virginia, and Wheeler Airlines operating Beechcraft 99 turboprops non-stop from Danville, VA, Raleigh, Durham, Washington, D.C. National Airport and Wilmington, Delaware. By 1986, Wheeler Airlines had created a small hub at the airport and had added non-stop flights from Charleston, West Virginia and Parkersburg, West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Topic Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Statistics Topic Top Domestic Routes Topic Airline Market Share In 2017, the airport served 3,657,479 passengers, an all-time record for the airport and broke its previous record of 3,634,544 in 2007. 2017 was also the airport's fifth consecutive year of growth and experienced a passenger traffic increase of 2.8% over passenger traffic reported in 2016. Rick is the third busiest airport in Virginia, after Washington Dulles and Ronald Reagan Washington. Richmond International has 75 based aircraft, 21 are single-engine, 21 multi-engine, and 33 jets. Accidents and incidents On July 19, 1951, Eastern Airlines Flight 601 bound from Newark to Miami suffered severe buffeting after an access door opened in flight over Lynchburg, Virginia and the crew decided to divert to Richmond. A flapless wheels up landing was made a few miles short of the runway at Curls Neck Farm because the crew feared that the aircraft would disintegrate before they could get to the airport to attempt an emergency landing. There were no fatalities. On November 8, 1961, Imperial Airlines Flight 201 was destroyed when it crashed and burned following an attempted emergency landing at the airport. All 74 passengers, and three of the five crew members died. On July 16, 1964 an Eastern Airlines DC-7 BN-809D with 76 occupants bound from New York touched down short of runway 15, suffered a right main gear collapse and slid for 4,752 feet. There were no injuries but the aircraft was damaged beyond repair. On May 6, 1980, a Gates Learjet 23, N-866JS, rolled inverted landing on runway 33. The aircraft crashed adjacent to the runway at 3.12 and burst into flame. Both pilots were killed. On June 9, 1996, Eastwind Airlines Flight 517 from Trenton, New Jersey, experienced loss of rudder control while on approach to Richmond. However, control was regained shortly after, and the aircraft landed normally. There was one minor injury. In 2011, a private twin-engine, Piper Navajo, crashed after takeoff. Only the pilot was on board at the time of the crash. The pilot suffered burns and was immediately taken to a hospital. Topic: <inaudible> Virginia Air National Guard. 
Until October 2007, the 192D Fighter Wing 192FW, an Air Combat Command ACC gained unit of the Virginia Air National Guard, maintained an Air National Guard station, operating F-16 Fighting Falcon aircraft from the airport. In late 2007, pursuant to BRAC 2005 action, the 192FW relinquished its F-16C and F-16D aircraft and moved to Langley AFB now Joint Base Langley -Eustis, to integrate with the regular Air Force as an associate unit to the 1st Fighter Wing flying the F-22 Raptor. See also Virginia World War II Army Airfields <laughs>